In mathematics, specifically in real analysis, the Bolzano Weierstrass theorem, named after Bernard Bolzano and Karl Weierstrass, is a fundamental result about convergence in a finite dimensional Euclidean space Rn. The theorem states that each bounded sequence in Rn has a convergent subsequence. An equivalent formulation is that a subset of Rn is sequentially compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. The theorem is sometimes called the sequential compactness theorem. History and significance The Bolzano–Weierstrass theorem is named after mathematicians Bernard Bolzano and Karl Weierstrass. It was actually first proved by Bolzano in 1817 as a lemma in the proof of the intermediate value theorem. Some 50 years later the result was identified as significant in its own right, and proved again by Weierstrass. It has since become an essential theorem of analysis. Topic proof First we prove the theorem when n equals 1 in which case the ordering on R can be put to good use. Indeed, we have the following result. Lemma, every infinite sequence xn x n in R has a monotone subsequence. Proof, let us call a positive integer n a peak of the sequence if n m n implies x n greater than x m x n greater than x m i.e., if x n x n is greater than every subsequent term x m m in the sequence. Suppose first that the sequence has infinitely many peaks, n 1 n 2 n 3 n j then the subsequence x n j display style x underscore n underscore j corresponding to these peaks is monotonically decreasing. So suppose now that there are only finitely many peaks, let n display style n be the last peak and n one equals n plus one display style n underscore one equals n plus one. Then n one display style n underscore one is not a peak since n n one display style n, which implies the existence of n two display style n underscore two with n one n two display style n underscore one and x n one x n two display style x underscore n underscore one leq x underscore n underscore two. Again, n two greater than n display style n underscore two greater than n is not a peak. Hence, there is an n three display style n underscore three where n two n three display style n underscore two with x n two x n three display style x underscore n underscore two leq x underscore n underscore three. Repeating this process leads to an infinite non-decreasing subsequence x n one x n two x n three display style x underscore n underscore one leq x underscore n underscore two leq x underscore n underscore three leq l dots as desired. Now suppose one has a bounded sequence in R display style math bound R by the lemma there exists a monotone subsequence necessarily bounded. It follows from the monotone convergence theorem that this subsequence must converge. Finally, the general case can be reduced to the case of n equals one. Display style n equals one. As follows, given a bounded sequence in R n. Display style math bound R caret n. The sequence of first coordinates is a bounded real sequence, hence has a convergent subsequence. One can then extract a subsubsequence on which the second coordinates converge, and so on, until in the end we have passed from the original sequence to a subsequence n display style n times, which is still a subsequence of the original sequence, on which each coordinate sequence converges, hence the subsequence itself is convergent. Topic: <laughs> Alternative proof. There is also an alternative proof of the Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem using nested intervals. We start with a bounded sequence x n display style x underscore n. Because we halve the length of an interval at each step, the limit of the interval's length is zero. Thus, there is a number x display style x, which is in each interval i n. Display style i underscore n. Now we show that x display style x is an accumulation point of x n 
Display style x underscore n. Take a neighborhood U. Display style U. Of x. Display style x. Because the length of the intervals converges to zero, there is an interval i n. Display style i underscore n. Which is a subset of U. Display style U. Because i n display style i underscore n contains by construction infinitely many members of x n display style x underscore n and i n u display style i underscore n subset x u also u display style u contains infinitely many members of x n display style x underscore n this proves that x display style x is an accumulation point of x n display style x underscore n thus there is a subsequence of x n display style x underscore n which converges to x display style x topic sequential compactness in euclidean spaces suppose a is a subset of rn with the property that every sequence in a has a subsequence converging to an element of a then a must be bounded since otherwise there exists a sequence xm in a with xm m for all m and then every subsequence is unbounded and therefore not convergent moreover a must be closed since from a non interior point x in the complement of a one can build an a valued sequence converging to x Thus the subsets A of Rn for which every sequence in A has a subsequence converging to an element of A, i.e., the subsets which are sequentially compact in the subspace topology, are precisely the closed and bounded sets. This form of the theorem makes especially clear the analogy to the heine borel theorem, which asserts that a subset of Rn is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. In fact, general topology tells us that a metrizable space is compact if and only if it is sequentially compact, so that the bolzano weierstrass and heine borel theorems are essentially the same. <laughs> <laughs> Application to economics There are different important equilibrium concepts in economics, the proofs of the existence of which often require variations of the bolzano weierstrass theorem. One example is the existence of a Pareto-efficient allocation. An allocation is a matrix of consumption bundles for agents in an economy, and an allocation is Pareto-efficient if no change can be made to it which makes no agent worse off and at least one agent better off here rows of the allocation matrix must be rankable by a preference relation. The bolzano weierstrass theorem allows one to prove that if the set of allocations is compact and non-empty, then the system has a Pareto-efficient allocation. See also Sequentially compact space Heine-Borel theorem Fundamental axiom of analysis Eklund's variational principle equals equals notes <laughs>